Yeah, and right now, let's get an update on Harvey. We know it's been upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget leads the way. This is a dangerous situation. Already Category 3 is a dangerous situation. And just now, as Harvey's slowing down a bit more, we now have a Category 4 hurricane approaching landfall in the next few hours. Looking at the feeder bands feeding all the way into near Houston and Galveston. But let's zoom our way down to just a bit more where we have the eye wall. You see that Category 4 right there. Uh, you can see see that the eye wall getting very close to the barrier islands, the outer eye wall, that center of circulation still out over the open water. It is slowed down, but we are seeing these bands rotating their way on through where you're going to be dealing with those winds gusting up to 85, maybe 90 miles per hour or higher, maybe some tornado spin ups and a lot of rain continuing to fall. So there's that center of circulation with the eye. I want to go ahead and show you the wind speeds and you can also see right now from the radar that we do have that center right there just east of the barrier islands, just above the surface winds about 112 miles per hour again transporting down to the surface it's about 19 miles just to the east southeast of the barrier islands of Corpus Christi so we are continuing to watch now category 4 hurricane Harvey moving northwest at 8 miles per hour with winds sustained at 130 miles per hour it is going to push on shore my thinking in the next few hours possibly maybe 9 to 10 tonight remain a major hurricane by Saturday night early Saturday morning at 1 o'clock then by Saturday afternoon, Category 1 hurricane loop around as a tropical storm by Sunday, early Sunday morning. And then as we go into Saturday, Sunday afternoon into Monday, back down to the same area where it might make landfall as a tropical storm out over the open water, holding some strength and getting closer towards Houston as we go into next Tuesday and Wednesday still as a tropical storm. It is rare to have this Category 4 hurricane, but we've seen it here in Texas before. Let's bring in meteorologist Jeff Ray for more on that. Scott, just unbelievable. We were talking about 56 years since we've had a Category 4 hurricane hit Texas. It happened in 1961. It was Hurricane Carla. Guess where it came on shore? Port Lavaca. This is only going to be about 30 miles north of where Harvey is going to come on shore. So almost the exact same path. Of course, Carla continued across Texas, even got into North Texas with some heavy rain. But this hurricane is going to actually stall when it comes on shore. So let's talk about this storm surge and what happens in a Category 4 hurricane. First, you remember earlier in the day when it was a Category 2? If that came on shore at 96 to 110 mile per hour winds, we're talking about starting to small structures getting destroyed and trees starting to get whipped around and pieces of trees flying everywhere. You start talking about a lot of debris inland, but when you get to a Category 3, this is now a major hurricane. You have 111 to 130 mile per hour winds and you start losing structural pieces on the house. You go to a Category 4 hurricane, and the important thing to know here, trees do not survive Category 4s, nor do power poles. So a large area is going to get devastated as far as the loss of electricity, and with trees down, very difficult now to get into the rescue areas. And we're right at the precipice where we start losing the structures themselves, Scott. This is going to be a catastrophic event. It really is. And as we take a look with the future sky forecast, here's our timing now. And you can see that inner eye wall that I was talking about when that makes its way over land, that's when we have landfall. Our future sky forecast right now is continuing to show it pushing to the northwest. Then possibly, I needed to back it up just a bit, but maybe right around 9 to 10 o'clock. Moving over those barrier islands could be a little bit sooner than that. And then into the evening hours, still pushing its way inland. Into the early morning hours, still then making its way inland. So I'm thinking near 10 p.m. or earlier, 15 to 30 inches of rainfall possible over the next five days. Some local areas 40 inches plus. Storm surge 6 to 12 feet. It's sustained winds. We're actually about 120 miles per hour, possibly now up to near 130 miles per hour. Days of power outages and flooding expected. And then the seven day forecast here in North Texas shows maybe some small rain chances over the weekend into next week. And then we dry out. Keith.